this It just don't make a difference I'm just talking shit to the ones that are listen I can with the heat, man, I swear I'm never missing And I'm still the same Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the video Welcome back, today is Saturday, October 22nd Um, welcome to another weekend vlog I didn't film yesterday And it's already late in the day today As you can probably tell, I just got out of the shower I don't have time to wait for my hair to dry or anything Before I start this vlog Uh, because first off I got a package. So we are starting off today's vlog with an unboxing. Did you guys see this clip in the last video? Yeah, I talked about this coming Saturday, which is today. We are going to be doing a Friends in the Office trivia. Um, so it's going to be me and my Aunt Lauren on Team Friends. And then Tessa and John on Team Office. You can have two to four players in one team. And it's going to be us four playing. We have been practicing um, like literally two days this week. My mom has been asking me and my Aunt Lauren these friends trivia cards. And then we have these too. Because I've had those for a while. I just thought they'd always be fun to have. Turns out they're coming in need now. So anyways, that's the start of this video. Um, and now I'm going to do my unboxing. I'm excited for this. Ooh, baby, I'm excited. Ooh, let's go. Why is it freaking stuck? That is clean. There's a piece of thread on it. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Put the World Series on it. Wow. It's brand 47. Let's go. Okay. I don't know if it's adjusted, but... No, it's a little loose. It's still loose, homie. What the hell? All right, so I still got wet hair, but it is hot. It's actually very, very hot out here. <laughs> Hold on one second. What do you want on? Um, everything. Yeah, literally we lost by lost by two. Okay, so we're just now leaving. There were no phones out at all, or else you're disqualified. So I couldn't film at all, even if I wanted to. There were four rounds with four questions each. It went office friends, office friends, because it's a mix. Uh, God, there was one question we got wrong, and it was something about a Ross's a year on Ross's bachelor shirt. We had no idea. We put 1992 and the right answer was 1998 and that was a two point question that we had answered, got it wrong, and we lost by two points, so I'm so upset. But the, the, the winning was a 50 inch smart TV, um, but it's a good game, but it was fun. We just lost. <laughs> okay guys, so it is a little after nine right now. We're just getting home and yeah. Oh, okay. So you guys saw me started this video. Not after that, we stopped at Burger King and then we went to Tess and John's. Then walked. To, it's basically their uh, complex is holding this trivia. So we literally just had to walk a tad bit to it. Um, there were only five teams. It was fun. We got every single question right except for this Ross's Bachelor Bash T-shirt where we got, we had to guess, we guessed 1992, got it wrong, it was 1998, so that was a two point question. So basically there were four rounds and then four questions, so a total of 16. They would go office question, friends question, office question, friends question, and then they would tally up our total. So if you got every single question right, you got 20 points. Then we moved on to the second round. We got every single question as well. That's another 20 points. 
So then we went to halftime, which, and then that gave, that, we did halftime for like 15 minutes. The two people who were running it basically were able to tally up everything on their computer. And then we started round three. That was the one where we, we got 18. We missed the two point question. Basically there's a two point question, a four point question, a six point question, and an eight point question. So good thing it was only our two point question that we got wrong, but still it sucks because we freaking lost by two points uh it all it was all fun and games it was just a lot of fun um but definitely would have been a lot more fun if we had won and then at the very end of all the four rounds there was a total of the 16 questions but during the halftime i should specify during the halftime there was a bonus question if you didn't get them right you did not lose any points but it was a friends based question it was what is all six of the characters names and middle names so we got four of the six right the only ones that we couldn't think of were joey's middle name which is francis now and monica's middle name starts with an e but it was never specifically said on the show we even looked it up at the end to double check and so we got phoebe right ross Chandler and Rachel all right so we got an extra eight points but we could have gotten 12 if we had known Monica and Joey so then we get through the next two rounds and at the very end there's a bonus question what year were both finales airing their last season or whatever so friends has 10 season they they go from 1994 to 2004 I knew what year friends ended because it was the year I was born which is 2004 Tess and John put 2013 down for the end of The Office, and they got that right. So we got an extra 25 points for getting that question right. So we're home now. I got the Phillies-Padres game, game four of the NLCS. Um, Phillies are up by two. My computer's being so stupid. Like, it literally keeps being stupid. So I'm going to figure that out, but... Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video so far. I'm not ending it yet because it'd be like a few minute video. But I think I'm, I'm going to carry this on until tomorrow. Anyways, since the last video, I've made some changes to my room by rearranging and redecorating. So I'm going to show you guys those really quick. It sucks that like it's already kind of messy, but I don't know what else to do. Okay, so this is my room. Um, I'll just show you. Minus the floor. So my, basically this is my bed. There's Bryce Harper. Okay, he's gone. My bed before was this way. It came out long ways here. Well, I basically, I turned it sideways. My dresser is still there. It's still the same. I just cleaned it. <laughs> um, my nightstand's there. And then my TV stands there still. That's all still the same. But I just cleaned it and dusted it. And then this is my entertainment center. And this, I is still all the same but I also just redecorated I have my walking dead comic books down there my photo albums my all my diary diary of a wimpy kid books my Funko Pops Aaron Judge um basically all this stuff my yearbooks and photo albums all that stuff this is all clutter I need to figure out what to do with that but yeah minus a couple things still around I promised my room was clean the other day because I just did today is Saturday I just cleaned all this Wednesday night and Thursday so I uh, I have to finish it up tomorrow but not right now <laughs> so I definitely wish that I could have filmed some of it for you guys that was my plan I brought this little phone stand tripod so that way I could set it up just to even so you see like my face and my reaction to some of the questions um, but they said which understandable because it's trivia they said if they see phones out you're disqualified so all everyone's phone had to be in their pocket or put up except for like the halftime or the end of course but that was the one rule bro day bro day what are bro day he's not looking at me oh yeah now you look at me here Oh, you win. Hmm. Ending off the night with some boneless chicken wings. Brody decided he wanted to lay on my purse, but got some of these. These are fire. All right, guys, it is the next day. It is Sunday, and I'm really feeling like bad. 
for the people watching this video, because I haven't done crap this weekend. We got game five of the NLCS. We got the Phillies and the Padres. The Phillies have won the last two games in a row, being amazing. Um, I am 100% rooting for the Phillies. My boy Bryce Harper. I'm not a... I keep saying this in all my videos. I'm a Cubs fan, of course, but uh, I am rooting for the Phillies. I love Bryce Harper. I love Kyle Schwarber, Nicholas Castellanos, Reese Hoskins, JT Romuto. I love all those guys. Like, I literally love this whole team, so that's why I'm rooting for them to go all the way. It sucks because the Yankees are most likely going to get swept today by the Astros, which sucks because unless you're an Astros fan, I don't think anyone's rooting for them. So it kind of sucks, but for, for Yankees, like... Judge and Rizzo over there. I love them. But we got this game. It is 1.40 p.m. I don't understand. I hate, and I'm going to express this, I hate day playoff games. First off, thank God it's Sunday, or else I'd probably have to gyp school. It doesn't hit the same. Like, it's still a game, and you're still going to watch, but it's like, come on, man. I was going to do something with my sister today, I thought, but things are kind of switching up. I'm not doing that. But I'm sorry. Also, I would have rather watched this anyway. So yesterday with the trivia, I wasn't able to film any of that. Today with baseball, that's all. That's about it. But I don't know. <laughs> the, the new episode of The Walking Dead came out today. I want to be watching that here soon too. Um, but other than that, I feel bad. There really has not been much to go on in this video. My mom went to a baby shower. Uh, basically, my sister's my sister Tessa's best friend is having a baby. Um, so my mom who knows her very well, like, of course, um, went. I didn't go, but, um, yeah. Let's go! Dude, this guy homered twice yesterday. Freaking Reese Hoskins, bro. Oh my god, I just got him freaking the hell out, bro. Bottom of the eighth, Phillies are down one run, and Bryce Harper takes the mother effing lead bro i switched from the tv to the computer so i can play my game bro what a fucking moment what a fucking moment oh my god i literally just beat the shit out of this table this could be what sends them to the world series dude okay guys oh crap they just they got someone off first all right, because it, they are down to their last uh, two outs, I uh, decided to come back out in the living room, and I'm going to record my reaction to, uh, you know, hopefully something good for the Phillies. Bro, he walks him! They took out David Robertson, the, you know, better pitcher, closer, and they're bringing in a starter for the last two outs. So now while we got a commercial on, uh, I'm trying to make some chill off cheese fries, but I'm trying to wait for this game to end. We're, I don't want to say we're, like, I'm not trying to be a bandwagon. I'm a Cubs fan, but I'm rooting. I feel like, you know, no matter what, if your team's not in the playoffs, I feel like you always take bias over a team. And I've kind of done that with the Phillies. If you watch my past few videos, I've been kind of rooting for the Phillies this whole time. Um, I don't know. I just, I love the, the guys on the Phillies, like I've already explained in this video. So I just, I want them and, and their fans to just experience the World Series and I'm all in it. And I don't really give a shit about the Padres. So yeah. All right. It's coming back. And then go ahead, run aboard. Trent Grisham lays the bunt down. Suarez has it. Oh my God. Okay. Sack bunt. So we got a man on two. On second and a man on third. Suarez fires. Pop fly. Right field. Segura's out. Castellanos in. And oh my God! 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 Let's go! Let's go, that's right! Eighth pennant in team history. Their first since 2009. Wow. Wow. <laughs>
I feel bad for the Padres a little bit because they had they had two guys in scoring position, man. MVP Bryce Harper, dude. Like Bryce Harper. MVP, bro. Like he hit the go ahead to to run homer. Why is my internet being trashed right now? This is not the time. I gotta say, I absolutely love the Phillies when they win at home. Their Calum Scott song, the Dancing on My Own. I didn't know that they did that. I didn't know that was their tradition and I love it. My internet decides right now to be trash. Okay, another food vlog. I got me some chili cheese fries. This is something new we, me and my mom made the other day, and now I'm kind of addicted. Um, I've had them before, but we haven't really ever made them from, you know, at home. But anyways, I'm going to eat these. These are fire.